Hey, hi friends. Welcome to Automation with Shell Scripting course presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. Friends, here we are going to see about Ansible and that is automate Ansible installation and configuration on AWS EC2 instances. So before going to see a shell script for this task, so I want to give some introduction about this concept. That is, suppose guys, just assume that I want to launch one application and for my application, suppose I need some set of servers and I want to manage all those servers with Ansible, right? Suppose if you need three servers for your application, right? Take one extra server and on that server, just install your Ansible and control from there remaining your three servers. So what I'm saying is suppose just assume that you're having four, you need actually only three servers for your application. Right. So to manage all these three servers from one central point, I'm taking this extra server. So now what I will do is on server one. Right. So I will install Ansible and server two, server three, server four. I'm going to manage from server one. So now I can say this is Ansible master or controller and I will provide any way passwordless authentication or some with password, whatever it may be simply passwordless authentication uh, from one, two, two, three and four. Right. And I can call remaining two, three, four servers called as nodes. Right. So you know that each server is having its IP or some FQDN name. So here I'm going to take IPs. Right. So to manage our servers two, three and four from server one, I need to provide the information about two, three, four in Ansible server or Ansible controller or in server one. So where you will provide the information is nothing but simply inventory file. So the inventory file will consist of information about your remote servers or the servers which you want to manage by your Ansible. Those servers, IPs or uh, some host, uh, FQDN name, whatever it may be. Once if this setup is ready, now you are ready to work with Ansible to manage your servers, right? So guys, now I'm going to show the steps for this entire task uh, to do automation, right? Let me go with that. So steps for this automation. So first I'm assuming some configuration file guys, right? So in that configuration file, actually I'm going to provide, uh, let me show that. So I have already ready made a script here. Uh, what is that? Yeah, EC2. So here I'm taking something, some information. So in this, I'm having some image ID, number of instances, access key, instance type, security group. Still, if you need some extra uh, parameters or arguments or variables, you can include in this file, right? So once if we install Ansible and if you want to manage with Ansible, you need some user. So I'm taking user as ans admin and I'm giving some password for this. So with this data, I'm going to launch my instances. So actually in our example, we have taken, right? Three servers, one to control. But here just simply I'm going to take only two servers. That is one controller and one your node. But just nothing is there. If you want to create any number of servers, just modify here. If you want to uh, launch three instances for your application and one to control your uh, instances, just add four here instead of two. So that this script will provision your instances. At the same time, it will install Ansible and configure the Ansible. Right? So anyway, suppose this is the first step uh, for us. Then second step, just you need to provide some user data files. So, you know, while launching your EC2 instances, we can provide some data, user data in case if you need. Yes, I need. For uh, controller, I need some Ansible installation steps. And for uh, nodes, just I need to update my EM. That's it. So all those data I have provided in these two files. Right? Then just, just number of EC2 instances, you can provide this information in your Ansible, sorry, EC2 specification.cfg so that you are going to launch your required number of EC2 instances, right? So after providing this information, just run your script, create EC2 instances script. Actually, we are having that. We will see that, right? So after that, so just for my further steps, I'm going to collect all my IP addresses of launching EC2 instances. Then after that, to do some task, or to generate some keys and Ansible controller and to uh, pass that keys with the nodes, I need to wait up to the system check is okay. So if you go to your AWS console, right, on EC2 instance, you're having one of the parameter called system check. If it is okay, then your instance is ready to accept your request, right? 
so before going to generate my keys i will wait up to the system check is okay so for that again i have taken uh, care inside my shell script itself then after generating keys i will copy that to remote locations and i will update host files with ips of whatever the instances you launch that ip addresses i will update into my your default host file or inventory file that is under root etc or ansible host so if you want to create some other inventory yes you can create that's not a problem right okay then finally i will verify by uh, okay now finally you have to install and configure from your ans uh, you can verify this uh, installation and configuration from ansible controller just by logging into the server and you can run some simple ad hoc command so that you can verify that right okay see let me first actually this is my main script and if you observe here guys we are having lot of scripts here and this is my what is that yeah create 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 yes this is my main uh, script and remaining all are supported scripts okay so now so what i am having actually inside of my script is okay just oh my i don't have vim no problem now just i implemented with functions concept guys one function just to declare all variables to give some welcome message to create instances after that to check the status check and after that i create one more function to get the uh, all ips and so only for node ips then i am generating ssh keys on ansible controller at the same time i am copying those keys into remote servers okay so this is just a, uh, one shell script to provision your ec2 instances at the same time to install and configure your ansible right so this is just idea now i am going to implement that shell script and before going to run this shell script let me open my aws console and i want to show something that is how many can you we are going to create only two instances one is controller and one is node but before going to that let me open my ec2 console and one more thing guys uh, on your terminal so actually you are going to run aws cli commands inside of my shell script so you should configure your aws cli on your host if you observe here i already configure with my security credentials or uh, programmatic access keys right and i have given default output format as text and i am working on us east 1 so why i have given output as text means you are working with shell scripts so in shell script if your aws CLI commands output is text, then it is very easy to manipulate with the help of some filter commands in your shell that is cut, set, and awk, right? So that's why I have given output as text. That's it. Now, this one running instance is actually I'm working from there only. So I already tested this in different ways. Now, see only one running instance, right? Now I am going to run our shell script. See that. two instances we are creating one is for ansible controller and one is one instance for ansible nodes so creating ansible controller it has been created now creating node one see for each and every step i have given log it is good practice actually providing that so after creating your instances your shell script is checking your system check <clears throat> right and it is checking for master node as of now if you observe if you refresh here now see that it is going to see first two instances we are launching now with our shell script one is for ansible controller see i have uh, created tags as well right and one more is ansible node so in ansible this is node this is controller so i have given two tags for each instance right and if you observe here still they are initializing once if this status reach to status uh, check okay right two by two checks passed then only your script will stop to check that status for every 5 minutes actually it will check this status okay okay just wait guys you have to wait some time so it will make uh, it will take probably 2 or 3 minutes because we are doing some uh, you are using some user data right while launching instance so you are doing some update yum update so for all these things it will take some time okay just wait so just observe this output once if it is done then we will go with uh, checking i mean we will verify the installation part okay yes still it is checking 
let me refresh it here and check here still initializing so once this is done right see this initialization for here and here it is okay two by two checks are passed then only your script will stop up to that your script will look for that okay so it started around 33 to 33 pm so 36 oh three minutes has taken okay we have to wait so we'll check here once it is done then we'll go and verify script Still there initializing, no problem. We have to wait. Our script also waiting, no problem, right? Okay. No man, it's taking time. Yes, now if you observe here, right, your status checks okay. Now observe your script. So it will take some more time because that graphical, this is uh, it's working with commands, right? So perfect status. So you are going to get now. Yes, master node is ready to accept. At the same time, node one is also ready. Now script is checking. IP addresses, right? And generating keys and copying keys. Yes, done. No, nothing is there. Just go and see the information, right, on the server. Let me connect with this. So directly, I'm going to connect with an admin user. So see, manually, we did not create this ans admin user. So through shell script only we created. Now I'm trying directly checking, right? So just provide password. So that password also we created through shell script only. So Ansible actually, I created one, two, three. Yes, fine. Now just let me check Ansible hyphen hyphen version. That's it. Now I'm not sure whether I updated script to update uh, hosts or not. Let me check it. sudo vi root etc ansible hosts. Yeah, see, it is there. Now simply run ansible all hyphen m thing. Yes, see perfectly your script worked. So the thing is here we automated AWS uh, instances provisioning along with Ansible installation and its configuration, right? So guys, this is one of the real time requirement, but not in this way, the concepts are similar, okay? So guys, this type of training we will provide from our institute that, that is do with Python technologies. In case if you are interested about shell scripting, and actually we are providing uh, this type of online courses shell scripting just general shell scripting along with that we'll also discuss some aws cli commands how to use that aws cli commands inside shell scripting and we are providing python scripting and 
We are also teaching Python scripting for AWS automation by using Boto3 module of Python. Then we are going with Ansible with ML scripting for playbooks. Then we are also covering infrastructure as a code with Terraform for AWS cloud. But Terraform you can use for any cloud, but we are covering only for AWS. Okay, and guys, this sequence will be repeated. So suppose today we are going to start shell scripting, then it will take around 25 hours. Then after that, we'll start with Python scripting. It will take 35 hours. After that, we'll start with AWS automation with Boto3. It will take 25 hours. Then Ansible with ML scripting, again, 25 hours. ISC with Terraform, 25 hours. With this duration, we are repeating this sequence. Okay, so if you are interested about this course, okay, you can ping me on my WhatsApp or you can also drop a mail to our uh, email at doitpython.gmail.com. And the next batch, which we are going to start on March 4th, and the course is Python scripting and AWS automation with Python and Boto3. So in case if you are really interested, you can ping me on my WhatsApp, or you can also drop a mail with uh, our uh, email to email at the doitpython.gmail.com. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. And in case if you like this video, just give your thumbs up on the below of this video and also share with your friends. And just subscribe my channel so that you'll get updates whenever you post some new videos, new concepts. Okay, bye.